Alright guys, Saiyan Survive here bring you another Dragon Ball Super Superhero video today and another brand new TV trailer for Dragon Ball Super Superhero just came out not long ago and before we continue, I just want to apologize on the last video the last 3 or 4 minutes of the video actually had the background for the music was much louder and I feel like catch that in time I was not able to fix it so I just want to pause for that this will be a better edited video just promise you guys right there anyways like I said new TV trailer just dropped and we have the official soundtrack out too the track listing that is and we possibly have some hints and some spoilers there too and going off from DBS Chronicles and DBS Hype from what they're reporting so I will go over that once we get to it but first if you guys have not already be sure to hit the like button for this video, subscribe if you have not already, and hit the notification bell when I wrap up new videos like this, talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. Now, first, of course, we're going to do the TV trailer first, the second one, and then we're going to go off to the track listings, and there will be some major spoilers possibly coming out from that. So let's go with the TV trailer first, so let's get it. Okay, so the first shot was actually from the Brave Army, Army shot. That's their ship. And it's not the same shit that we saw from the last trailer where it was flying from an explosion. That was obviously a capsule corp ship piloted possibly by Boma. We know for sure that Krillin and Android 18 are on there, but it's not the same one. <laughs> now we've seen these shots before with Gohan going powering up against the Riven army and their and their foes. Gohan, Pan, we know that already. This actually does look better from the previous, because the previous version of this shot just looked like it came from a PS2 game, but this definitely does look a lot better now. We've seen these shots before. Now, apparently, um, this form of Gohan is supposed to be his beyond potential unleashed form, with the lightnings in his aura, which is very similar to his Super Saiyan 2 form, so this is possibly just a upgraded version of his ultimate form, obviously tapping into his potential unleash, but with the lightning sparks now, it's supposed to be a much powerful form than it was before, but we do not have the official translation of, or the official name that is, of this transformation yet, but this is pretty cool to see, so let's get it. Piccolo, okay. So right here, um, I forget. Some people were saying this is possibly from Piccolo or some other character, but this is possibly from the new um, villain that we have not seen yet. Obviously, a lot of people think it's Cell. No confirmation that it, that it is so. But it does look like a Majin Buu style attack. Oh, that, that's what it was, Majin Buu. It's supposed to be the Earth Strain attack, but... I don't think this is Majin Buu, but if it is, it'll be interesting to see him in the battle. Come in. Don't come out uh, Find out there. I think this is actually a brand new shot from Piccolo. Uh, this is actually another brand, sh brand new shot from Pan 2. This is a new one from Piccolo that you have not seen before. Don't come out the Pan running. Right there. Yeah, she's reaching out for someone, possibly for her dad. As we just saw, new shot of Go Gohan right here. Blasting away a key blast. That would look like a red key blast. Possibly going after against um, Gamma 1. As we're gonna see. And notice that now that this is in the daytime, as in the previous trailers, we just saw Gohan fighting in the rain, possibly for the nighttime. So this is possibly going through, like later on through the day, where it was raining, and now it's going to the daytime. So it's pretty cool to see. And you can see that our damage are already there in the back. But obviously this whole Red Ribbon Army crater is going to be another crater again. Piccolo firing up his um special beam cannon right there. Pretty cool shot. This is the first um, angle we've seen from this shot. We've seen him like use the beam before, but this is a brand new angle of it. Woo! Gohan going ham on Gamma 1. Going ham. One more time. One more time. Like, look at the face of Gamma when he's like, Gohan's just t 
kicking him out there, man. He's just kicking his butt. Okay, this is the most wholesome shot in the t possibly the entire movie, let alone the trailer alone. So cute, super cute. Go, Pan looking adorable right there. <laughs> That's just such a cool shot. Such a cool shot. Oops, sorry about that. But such a cool shot. This is very wholesome. This is possibly at the end of the movie. Right, we don't know if this is after Gohan defeats um, possibly the Gammas and the secret weapon that we have not seen yet. But it's just a wholesome shot, or just after Pan is rescued by Gohan. But this is just a great shot. Just a phenomenal shot, man. This is just so cool. So cool. But obviously, with these traders now pumping out, Toy is finally doing something about promoting this movie, but I just wish it was more hyped around it, but obviously for whatever reason they decided to do it last minute, but I'm glad they're actually now like promoting this as much as they are, but yes. Anyways, let's take a look at the track listings for the upcoming soundtrack for this movie, and we're going to have some interesting tidbits coming up. Okay, so courtesy to Devious Chronicles, and we have some information from him and Devious Hype of what's going on. Obviously, um, we hear um, the official track listing. There's only 23. I know some people are disappointed thinking it's not going to be a long movie, but it could be still a long movie. Some people didn't note that the Berlin movie had like 32 tracks, but obviously this is not done by um, Sumitomo. It's done for a different composer, which is very surprising to me, but I don't think a lot of people are actually making a big deal of it as it is, but I just want to note that. So right here, we have the track listings. Of course, we see the Gamma Androids, the Gamma Army. Now right here, Beerus and, and Chilai. Now, it, it is out there now, this is from DV's Hype, that Beerus and Chilai seem to kind of have a thing, might be one-sided, where Beerus sees Chilai and calls her very cute and tells her that she can stay on his planet as long as she wants so he will probably ha be having Broly at his planet a lot longer than probably a lot of us thought but this is definitely a second home to Chilai right there so and also it is reported um I don't remember who exactly but I did see either from Devious Chronicles or Devious Hype that Goku, Vegeta, and Broly will not be coming to Earth at all at this movie, and they will not be transforming at all, so we will just see them in their base forms. So, if you are a Goku, Vegeta, or Broly fan hoping to see them in action against Gammas or against the new villain, you, you will be disappointed. This is a movie about Gohan, Piccolo, and Pan. This movie is not focused on the pure scenes, the pure blood scenes, at all. So, if you're hoping for them to come out, they will be, but they won't be a major part of this movie. But right here, we see a track listing for Shenron. So, very surprising that Shenron will be summoned not quite early on in this movie, but like early midway, midway through. So, that's very interesting to note. So, we'll be seeing what the wish will be for. So, very, very interesting. So, I see you're here. Advice. Gohan vs. Gammas. This is actually kind of like early on the movie. Awakening. Awakening to what? Could be towards the new villain. Who could it be? Obviously, we all know who that could be. Now, very interesting here. here. Orange Glow. Now, from what I've heard, Cell is still green, possibly. He's still most likely green, but... I just read, orange glow could be anything. Now here, very interesting. Magetta's rampage. Now this could be Magetta in his um, robotic armor or metal armor going on around. She's actually a bigger part of this battle than we all thought. And the deadliest of all actors, obviously that could be obviously the secret being, um, being activated or unintentionally being activated. And here, right here, Gamma to his resolve. So Gamma 2 is the more more um, um, funny, the more flamboyant version 
of the Gammas, so for him to have a resolve, could he be betraying the Revenant Army and his, um, I would say his brother Gamma 1, and joining the good, the real good guys about it, so very interesting to see that. So let's see what Gamma 2 has, because he, he is more like funny, but obviously maybe uh, the Gammas will survive this movie and they'll be part of the future Dragon Ball lore, so that's pretty closely but anyways um that will be it right here yeah this is nothing else to see nothing else interesting to know from what we see from the title of the tracks but very cool to see so obviously this is more hype coming out um there will be more information coming out later this week um i've been told possibly wednesday thursday or friday will be coming out from the devious chronicles and hype to their accounts so keep your eyes open stay tuned to this channel for this news and updates coming out and yes a lot of hype coming out just cannot wait for you guys to see it anyways guys thank you for watching this video it's the end of the video here be sure to hit the like button for this video subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell when i wrap up a new video this talk about course dragon ball it's the same survive sign out i'll see you guys later catch you guys in the next video hopefully coming tomorrow for new information for the movie really happy for that i'll see you guys later catch you guys in the next video have a great day bye